most beautiful gift. that Baba has given us beings of light. Is the fact of his companionship. Constant companionship, constant communion with the supreme reality. In this holy communion, the untouched heart of the soul. The still point that the self is is reawakened. And Baba is nurturing and nourishing and sustaining this untouched heart of the soul. It is untouched by any thought, any experience. Only and only pure feelings. of the Father can reside in the heart of the soul.
heart of the soul is complete stillness. There can be no fluctuation. And Baba is piercing through the layers only to touch the heart of the soul. In the heart of the soul, no one can reside except Baba. Because no falsehood can touch the heart of the soul. That's why Baba is called Dilaram, Comforter of Hearts. Only spontaneity resides in the heart.
So when Baba speaks to the soul, he speaks to the heart of the soul. which knows no deception, no manipulation. But filled with wisdom. And innocence. Many can visit the mind intellect can get corrupted and scars can be polluted. But the heart of the soul only love for Baba. And then that love for Baba naturally feeds the entire tree of souls. The souls receive love from Baba.
Sly the Bing. Receive from Baba the offering of his heart. Truest heart. And in this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Baba, can only be based on truth. There's no margin. Or any falsehood. This is what it means, dil se dil ki ruhi haan, heart to heart, conversations with God. It may have appeared as an illusion, that heart was broken into pieces. But the heart of the soul is unbreakable.
this heart choicelessly belongs to God. And God alone. There is no second or third. Because second and third is also Baba, Baba and Baba. So Baba appeals to the heart of the soul. Unconditional love oozes out of that heart. And naturally, extends. towards all the beings of light through Baba That's why Baba is completely carefree because he knows the untouched heart of the soul can never belong to illusion. but only to him. He is the master and the owner 
of my heart. It doesn't even belong to me. But solely to him. Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.
ways, Morley, I'm sure where it's going to be the importance of God's love. So I was wondering, it's so hearty to be in Baba's heart. It was more tempting than a womb. And yesterday I missed for half an hour even you promised you're you going to show us that unlimited, very, very Virat kind of a womb where everyone, each one of us is settled. So today, mind was not liking it. Mind was more interested in this big, huge heart who has so much of respite, who has everything, so warmth. And heart is having so many good wishes for me. So many, I can't even take all of them. Just feel them. So wish Murli we are going to nectar drink from the Pitara. Oh, Baba. The importance of God's love, 24th December, 84. 24th December, 84. The importance of God's love. Today, the ocean of love has come to meet his loving Chatrak. Children, for many births, you, my children, have been thirsting for this true, imperishable, godly love. The Chatrak souls of many births are now experiencing true, imperishable love. What Baba means by chakra? Is it a seeker? It's a bird that is thirsty for raindrops. A bird that is thirsty. It's open. Okay. So it is... Uh, bird that is thirsty for raindrops. It only drinks the water when it's a drop from the rain. The so soul only is thirsting for God's love. Doesn't need any other love. I'm but sure this bird, bird must be a symbolic sister. I don't know about that. First but drop of rain. First drop of rain. First group of rain. Because in this house, we are all ornithologists. I mean, too much. So we know it's okay. We don't need to go in any of that. Yeah. You made it clear. Like yeah. real yeah. thirst from the heart. Yeah. Okay. So when the soul is not experiencing God's love, then the soul is not experiencing love for himself. And when the soul is not experiencing love for himself, then the soul is looking for love from outside. Yeah? So God's love is the remedy. Right? And Baba's love is ever present for the being. Right? And, and that is why Baba is saying, because all of you, my children, you were devotee souls. So you became beggars for love. But the Father is now changing you from beggars into those who have a right to receive the inheritance from the ocean of love. Yeah? Make us feel, make us feel a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Baba is making you feel, right? Baba. I was wondering in the commentary, you know, sister is taking us beyond somewhere in the heart only, Delaram. And that only happened. Sister, please repeat the date of Murli. Um, anybody who remembers? 24th December, 84. Oh, perfect. Yeah. On the basis of experience, the sound is automatically emerging from each one's heart. So how do you experience God's love? What is God's love? Can't 
कैन डिफाइन सिस्टर ओम शांति सो मच हम्म ओम शांति um so i feel when everything outside and even inside uh seems to be uh negating or in a resistance mode or where you feel you don't really feel worth in the role and still you feel his still you feel very comfortable and very secure i think that's what god's love does to you Mm-hmm. even though uh, outside there is a uh, the role is completely shattered and uh, inside also there might be the mind has lot of havoc but that knowing that presence is so secure and so contented i think that's exactly what god's love does mm-hmm. yeah so i buy her point totally mhm yeah that's what god's love is just that place of the heart of the soul which we were baba was letting us know that the heart of the soul is that place of stillness it's a still point and there is there can be zero there can be no fluctuation in that still point of the heart of the soul and it is untouched by any fluctuations of the mind or the external world it's an untouched place right uninfluenced by anything and that is what baba is constantly trying to touch <laughs> baba is trying to touch the heart of the soul and it's it's actually magical uh, sister very recently i've experienced and and i exactly know this is what baba says vikaram vinash that nobody nothing you know whatever karma whatever people whatever is happening nothing can, and i was so amazed and a uh, surprise to know that you know mind is completely saying those things which earlier used to hurt and used to you know bring very sorrowful experience but now this nothing not i mean i could feel that stillness i could not feel again i mean i hope uh what it is i can actually understand that this is god's love and this is exactly uh how one how soul conscious is effortless without any effort so thank you baba and thank you sister mm-hmm. yeah you know baba says that at the end and uh, somebody sent me some little 5 10 minute audio of sister denise and uh, in that she was reading the murli i don't know which murli it is i've asked her to send me the date but just an excerpt from a murli of 5 10 minutes and in that it's saying that uh, what is really yoga is when you can truly be untouched in that murli baba is saying by any associations of the mind by any upheavals of the sanskaras there will be all sorts of i mean uh, eruptions at the end and the one who can be untouched by it is the one who is in true yoga you know and and this is exactly the lambe kal ka purushar baba is asking us beings of light to know that still point that i am completely still point and nothing can touch you the being and that is baba is calling the heart of the soul because mind can get corrupted intellect can get polluted sanskaras can get completely uh, corrupted as well but not the mind and uh, not the heart of the soul is untouched and that is what baba is appealing to again and again and again and again then it is very easy to be detached from the mind because that's not you after you've known your heart don't care about what the mind speaks and the stories it makes up yeah and that is why baba wants all relationships with you the being based on the heart of the soul that no one else can reside in that heart except me and in christianity it's called jealousy of the lord <laughs> lord is a jealous lord you know 
And, and, and in that sense, Baba doesn't want anyone to be touching that heart except him. Baba is very possessive, sister. Very, very possessive. <laughs> I've never seen anyone more possessive than Baba. I've never <laughs> felt it. And for my He's own... so possessive. But for my own sake? Yeah, there's a song in, in Hindi. Uh, Dil sacha chehra jhuta. So... So when you were making us feel, so I was just feeling, you know, everyone has gone to that truth to some extent. They tried actually. Dil is such a, you know, Baba's heart is, he's yeah. opening our heart. Yeah. That's how Baba says, heart wala ya dimag wala? <laughs> hmm? Heart wala, no? Hmm. And so this is how Baba tells us, just up and bump. Then there is no drama also. Whole thing is merged in you. Sister, heart means bhav also. Heart, Do you know meaning of bhav? Heart is not the physical heart of the body. No. Yeah, yeah. That is okay. That's yeah. very well understood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heart is the heart of the soul, which we in meditation, that's what we were, um, Baba was trying to explain was that that heart of the soul is that part of the soul which can never be corrupted by anything you know and that is what Baba really is constantly looking at that's why he can pierce through all the layers of sanskars and then just see the heart of the soul so Bhav Bhav you know B-H-A-V in Hindi so I'm saying Bhav in English is purest intention you mean that way? Intention nay. it's beyond intentions also it is intentionless. It is motiveless. It is just the pure heart of the soul. Words cannot define it. Go beyond. Define. If it can't. It can't actually. Yeah. So okay. go beyond words and then you will find the heart of who you are. Yeah. And that is why Baba is saying that now you have the right in the world. The thing everyone needs in their life is love. When there is no love, in their life, they experience life to be tasteless. Yeah. In my mind, many can reside. In my mind, many can take over feelings, thoughts, emotions. Anything can take over the mind. Right? And that's what has happened through the cycle. But the heart, only God can be there forever and eternally. It's unspoken, undefined love of the soul. Yeah? And that is what Baba appeals to. Yeah? And that is why Baba is saying that when there's no love in their life, they experience life to be tasteless. Love is such an elevated thing that ordinary people of today consider love to be God, right? It said God is love, love is God, even in the world outside, yeah? <laughs> they believe love is God or God is love. So love is so elevated, as elevated as they believe God to be. Love is truth and truth is love. Love is God and God is truth. These three go together. God, love, and truth. Yeah? So Baba is saying that love is such an elevated thing that ordinary people of today consider love to be God. Because not, no conditioned forces can face the force and the frequency of love. You know, of true love. So many conditioned forces of the mind and intellect and sanskars are there. All conditioned, right? But they can't withstand the frequency of true love. Because it's your love that gives and re-emerges the power to even accept 
whatever is arising and subsiding in your mind, intellect and scars. You being that being of love, right? Re-emerges the power of acceptance. Love doesn't want to change anything. Love just accepts. Because love is truth. And truth knows everything is perfect as it is. Yeah? It's a very close connection between love, God, and truth. They, they are three synonyms for each other, if you want to say so. Yeah? So Baba is saying, they believe love is God or God is love. And love can only be for something which is permanent, not for transient. So love can only be for something that exists forever, changelessly. Then it's love. The moment it's for temporary, transient, anything or anyone, it is not love. It turns into it, attachment. Uh, yeah, expectation. It turns. Attachment, attachment. Attachment also. Yeah. 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 Expectation is just a thought. But attachment is a feeling. I was just feeling the strange physical word when we love. Even for the weekends also. When we love, you know, so much of... And then we start expecting also. The person that should behave that. like that. But then that is the mind is now already triggered. 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This already... love is beyond. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this one, no, it, it doesn't have any... It doesn't have anything. No, no, no expansion. Yeah. Love is love. Yeah. Love is just something for that which is eternally existing changelessly forever. Oh. So I can love me only as a changeless being of light. I can only love God because he's forever changeless. I can only love the souls because they are changeless. Yeah. And, and that love will keep you very secure and not secure. You're beyond needing security and insecurity also. The word security also doesn't exist for the soul, actually. Everlasting, sister? Yeah, everlasting, changelessly. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't change. Love doesn't change because of anything. Yeah. Love is constant. So Baba is saying, so love is so elevated. They don't have the experience of why that it is said that God is love. Nevertheless, now that God, the Father, has come into this world, he has given you, my children, souls, love through the corporeal form in your practical life and is giving that. So love will never say, I told you so. Hmm? Love will never say, this is right, this is wrong. You know? Love just embraces and accepts. It's permanent, sister. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we'll go into a simple life, everyday today life example, just a little later. Previously, even though you did not have this experience, you understood that God is love. Therefore, the first gift from God the Father is love. So how Baba shows his love? Baba shows me his love by making me know my truth beyond mind, intellect, and scars, beyond all the stories. He helps me see my unchanging self. He helps me see my uncorrupted self, untouched self. 
and he separates me from that which is changing, which is corrupted, which is polluted. And helps me see it all judgmentlessly, impersonally. Helps me become free from the deception. That is his love. Hmm? Very different flavor. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we rise. We rise in love uh, of Baba. We fall in everyone's love. Otherwise, attachment. I probably would not even call it love. It's just attachment. <laughs> it's just some kind of dysfunctional form of what <laughs> it is. <laughs> Attachment it is, is nothing else. So Baba is saying that he has given all you children love through the corporeal form in your practical life and is giving that previously, even though you did not have this experience, child, you understood God's love. Therefore, the first gift from Baba, the father, is love. Love has given all of you a Brahmin birth. The sustenance of love has made all of you, my children, worthy of God's love. Love has made you into easy yogis, karma yogis, and natural yogis. Hmm? Easy yogis, karma yogis, and natural yogis. How? In today's Murli, you know, it's, it's all true understanding. Baba is saying you will never ever get any of your vices dissolved. Uh, with Sakshatkar, with Drashti, with just Baba is just constantly reminding us today is in the Murli. So this is the answer, you know. Wo yog chute nahi. Yog is what? You are asking, no? How you are easy yogi. So what I'm feeling, if I'm enjoying, you know, that real love, uh, eternal love, so that pull, there is no need to do any effort also in remembering him. It's, it's happening on, on its own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I'm awakened as a soul, I'm detached from my, like Sister Neha, so beautifully, literally portrayed it. It's amidst all chaos, havoc. Even though it doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel good. But after that, the love of Baba feels good, it's light. Hai. Or accept kare sapko loving. So I feel ki ye zarurat bhi nahi hai. Apne aap hi ho raha hai, sister. Khud hi ho raha hai. Mm -hmm. And anyone else? As Baba says, bachpan ke din bula na dena. So initially only love is the motivation that helps us to move. And it is like the channels Baba's channels, all the deities at the center. Initially, we just see unconditional love coming from them. First thing that appeals you when you go there, that they don't charge you anything and they're spending so much of their time with you. And then you realize, okay, this is real love that is pouring upon you. And when they take you to Mount Abu, uh, they, they, like, uh, they take care of you like 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 uh, like uh, we take care of our own children like you have had uh, your lunch or dinner or you have any problem as uh, in the previous class also which you send of uh, sister jayanti she she uh, in the beginning only she asked everything is okay i mean all are fine anything uh, everybody is in good so uh, baba's channels uh, like the the love po po they they pour it helps us to move in initial stages and then all the time we realize Bab teacher Satguru relation and firstly only his love is the biggest motivation to move. Thank you. 
anyone else uh sister uh, when we say it is karma yogi that means throughout the day whatever work we are doing that while remembering god the things happen on its own because we always have that in our uh, subconscious mind that it is the uh, baba who is doing not us so that load which we always used to have that we are doing that goes in baba's love and whole night whole day 24 into 7 we are in that i mean immersed in that love so it becomes so easy and natural while doing all the work that uh, these three things which you ask it is easy it becomes natural in baba's love so while doing any work be it household be it on profession be it for anything our uh, seva uh, it is only remembrance of god which makes it so easy for us thank you okay om shanti didi baba's natural love today uh, this so realized uh, before starting your murlina chatak word na you started first drop of rain so before that na only one second you may say one second means ki uh, impression of the chatak na in the shape of poem three lines the rhyme baba black sheep baba baba word reminds the soul really baba baba love ha huh? black sheep means this samaguni is we come out of this is then baba asked, have you any wool this soul replied yes baba say yes sir three bags of wool what are type of bags baba baba said bachchi three bags of wool one for your master then i realized master master my baba one for you this soul and one for dame then i took drama a uh, dame drama not little bachchi little bachchi involved in drama three bags full immediately didi you started this uh, murli chatak bird then this shows real love baba on us chatak small bird and we baba black sheep so i realized this soul realized true possessions of baba how touched us so every time baba's yaad baba samriti even then sote jagte uthte baithte baba is in us baba is in us and we are in baba this is didi rola ji didi anyone sorry also possession and true love unconditional love of baba i didn't understand oh. you uh sh she's asking didi is this true love what she is sharing okay i'm sure it's distinct and different for each one the way you experience it yeah om shanti the true love according to this soul is who am i who is my father what is the whole drama aap aur baap and there nothing as it is it will move this is true love baba given to me om shanti om shanti didi uh, when we have love for the truth and love to really stay in that constant attention uh because where the energy goes uh, where the you know the the i would say the love goes the energy flows so wherever we feel very passionate about you know for example the truth living a true life an authentic life naturally our attention i uh, the, feels that i really don't you know baba says that don't take tension but just stay attentive so it becomes very natural when you have love for living that life uh, and then it becomes extremely natural then you don't really have to do traffic controls or you really don't have to uh, remind it 
it just uh, the stage naturally you start uh, coming from that stage of truth you start experiencing it and yeah this is what i experience true love mm -hmm. om shanti ji jab baba ke sath hum sarv sambandhon ka rishta nibhate hain then baba touches the heart of the soul ki jaisa bhi hame baba ko use karna hota hai jis par jis roop mein unko use karna hota hai agar hum karte hain कि बाबा ही है कभी बच्चे की रूप में कभी टीचर के रूप में कभी पेरेंट्स के रूप में तो अगर बाबा को हम जैसा भी अपनी फीलिंग्स में अपने संकल्पों में लाते हैं तो मैं सोचती हूँ कि उस समय बाबा याद आ जाए उस रूप में तो वो बाबा का प्यार है um the your question was sisters of how the baba's love made it easy karma yogi and natural yogi as you just mentioned the one know the baba when we experience and know the baba's love so means we only use the baba's mind complete surrender so cannot be used the man mat or others mat only baba's mind that is the pure love and that is make it easy karma yogi and natural yogi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sister, Lini, you, sister Lini, you will also share after everyone then only it's valid no no it's what bad. is your each one Everyone's you also summarize thing. everyone's point, no? And then put it into valid. The <laughs> validity will be authenticated. Mm -hmm. It's each yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. You can say that. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sister Geet. Yeah, Baba's love uh, makes me free from all the doing, and accept and as I am, and makes me love myself. no matter what the part is right he he accept me and make me uh, just equal to him not more not not less so whatever happens in that you know with baba's love whatever happens you know through the body in the mind it just just you know is easily acceptable for the soul is is pure allow, allowance our soul doesn't um soul is uh, you know um beyond all the judgment or anything it just no words but baba just makes the soul feel matlab baba atma ko aisa feel karata hai just aur koi kara nahi sakta bas equal to just equal to him and pure allowance that's what I, this one can say mm -hmm. Shanti, mm -hmm. Baba's love cannot be defined. Utte, bette, sote, jagte, chalte, firte. Sir, Baba hi, jaise dunya mein hota hai na ki kuch bhi kam kar rahe hain. You cannot forget your lover. Same thing here. Ki Baba ke siwa kuch nahi hai. We are doing all the work, but Only Baba is in our heart. संसार में है बट डूबे हुए इन बाबा लव ओम शांति सिस्टर यू आर स्पीकिंग एंड आई एम बाबा नेक्टर ऑफ लव एंड आई एम फीलिंग आई एम स्पीचलेस आई कैंट स्पीक आई एम ड्रिंकिंग इट एंड यू नो वट Baba's love has changed a lot in me. I'm not doing anything. I'm not the doer. I'm not the thinker. I'm. 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 I'm.
I'm not doing anything. I am doing everything, but I am not doing it. I am not the doer. I am not the seeker. I'm whatever. I uh, I'm I can't explain it to you, but I'm speechless. Yeah. I can't describe in words, but I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. It's so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you are speaking. And I'm drinking the nectar. I can't speak it. I can't describe it more. And you don't I need. Can, I think you can understand what I want to say. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. You don't need to. The power. Oh, is yeah. Mm -hmm. the Baba's... Because love. Baba's love has done all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Om Shanti. Shanti. Om Shanti. Because of you, it has happened. Yes. I don't know who okay. this is. Yes, this is Shikha. Hi. Baba's love is always constant. It is secure. What has it given me is my identity and knowing of drama, which is the biggest gift from Baba. And yeah, that's that's love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Uh, Didi, I feel that as a soul, when I am silently witnessing and observing all the virtues and the vices inside me, all the Tamo Pradhan Sanskars and as well as the Satur Pradhan Sanskars in the duality of the mind. And that moment, I feel that this is the real Sangam Yuga, like Baba is giving us so much love that we can, as a soul, we can see everything inside us, inside the mind, what's there. Mm -hmm. I feel that's the true love from Baba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's unique, it's distinct, and it's beautiful for each one. You know? It's not like we're comparing sitting whose love is more than the other. No. <laughs> it's just unique and distinct for each one. Yeah. Like for me, it is more like, um, it's very practical for me. It is more like every moment, either being can experience my eternity, know my eternity, whilst every moment experiences are changing, right? The mind-body experiences are changing, but I, the being, can be with Baba and experience the whole life in this moment. So karma may be, the body is changing, the positioning, the movement may be happening, the thinking, listening activities, all are happening, but all is happening within me and I, the being combined with Baba, every moment. It's like you can experience and know that so much is changing every moment, but nothing about me is changing, only in his company. So it is this moment of now that I, the being, truly know God's love as God's love is. There's no such thing as past or future for the being. It's just the moment of now with God. And, and that for me is like, you can be anywhere, everywhere, you can be physically anywhere, everywhere. Your mind can be anywhere, everywhere. But I am always in the now with my father. My mind may want to take me on a trip in the past or it may want to take me on a trip in the future. But I can be with Baba and be the observer of the ever-changing nature of experiences, ever-changing nature 
no resistance to the resistance also. To me, that is very, very important because there's this habit of the mind that one is seeing and that habit of the mind that one is seeing is discontentment with this moment in the present, which is coming from the past and the future, this habit of discontentment. Something more can be there in this moment, for this moment to be better. And I, the being, can see that with Baba. So then you are not getting trapped in it. You're just not immersed in that. You're just experiencing your contentment, your truth of who you are in this moment of now, whilst you're seeing the desire of the mind to change this moment into something better, to make this moment into something more beautiful. But you are so in the moment of now with him. So for me, that is like karma yoga, easy yoga, natural yoga, because he exists now with me, not later, not future, not past, now, here and now. That to me becomes very easy to see that, yeah, Baba is to be known and seen by the being now, right? So then it's like, it doesn't matter what is, then you're not looking for love from humans. You're not looking love from didis and dadis. But you're just knowing Baba's love now. Yeah? Eternity now. This eternal experience now. Then you are the master bestower and you're seeing all as master bestowers of love with Baba. Yeah? But again, each one will experience it differently and uniquely differently. Yeah? And... Uh, it's just to becoming master bestower means it's the ultimate reward. Mm -hmm. I feel for, for the self and all my soul brothers. It's the highest of the high reward of the love. Mm -hmm. And the way you were trying to tell about your feeling, you are always in now with Baba, everywhere in all situation, never expecting uh, the particular moment to be better than anyone. Uh, mind could say anything, but you're perfect understanding no it has to be like this right now with baba when yeah. you underline this it means it's happening just now yeah so it's not an experience which has to be oh it could be a better experience little later or it could be you know whatever experience is coming in the now with baba and i we are experiencing it together Whatever experience is being experienced now is exactly what I need to experience. And this is exactly what is really I, the being, can see with Baba now. There is, there is zero desire to change anything that is happening in the now. Yeah? And like, let, let mind say anything. Yeah, it can say so many things. It can, it can, it can keep creating. Oh, but I'm not feeling it. I need. I'm desiring for more, or maybe this moment, next moment, it will be better. All of that can be there. But I'm just knowing that this too is just an experience that the mind is giving. But I, the being with Baba, I'm completely beyond all experiences, observer of it all, right? So that to me is like Baba can be only experienced now. It cannot be past or future. And when we say past or future, it means that even wanting it to be better than next, this moment is also future. Yeah. So it's now, here and now. Yeah. Then you will... What Baba is saying that love made you experience limited renunciation to be your fortune. What are you renouncing? You're just renouncing identity with the experience that is happening in the now. Yeah, you're just renouncing that identity with that experience. 
and sister baba says don't droop down with the heaviness that you have done lot of a lot of renunciation rather feel the fortune within yeah there is feel no it. renunciation there is no renunciation there's only i don't even want to say acquiring but there is only not even attainment there is only realization there's no renunciation but there's only realization of who you truly are with him yeah so can i experience the change of my mind and the nature of its experiences that it's giving me but can i know baba and i are in it together in every moment we are in everything together no matter what appears i and him are together then i go beyond the definitions of good and bad ugly and beautiful pleasant and unpleasant then i can go beyond it because in every moment i'm experiencing every moment with him then i can go beyond it so you don't experience anything into any kind of expansion without him focus yes. is he yes. is with me he's with me and then i'm experiencing everything not i'm experiencing and then i'm remembering him oh my god save me i need some safety i need some security <laughs> i'm with him and in this moment i'm with him nothing can change that fact mind and intellect and sanskars can throw whatever they want to throw but i live in his heart and from that space i find it becomes very very easy to go beyond to be beyond yeah and as someone was mentioning they can't express it in words they can't share it's just changing everything which is true in a natural way changes everything just to add to this uh didi i feel it's only uh now that we really i think the magic of baba's love is that we feel the detachment from the mind which actually create all these identities these false identities whether outside whether inside it's only through god's love i think we able to while being in that the the chaos the mind the uh, whatever that mind is we are so calm and we are so stable i think it's it's because of the the truth the love or whatever we say uh, and also is this uh, right to say that in soul conscious the truth love happiness peace all seems one i would say that in so in when the soul is conscious all is just pure allowance right yeah it's just from that pure allowance from being love because love will never resist anything love will never battle anything love will never uh, get want to get rid of anything love is just pure allowance right and that is why uh, when baba is saying that uh, do you experience baba's love do you know baba's love what it is then even false identities are just seen as temporary experience yeah because yeah. otherwise if we look at the mind there are so many false identities even mind is not seen as a problem yeah there's no such thing as a problem it's just mind is doing its job if i'm giving it more importance than it deserves then it is something i the being need to check it's not mind's fault yeah because mind has no life of its own i mean of course it acts its part is to act as it has life of its own but even that part i am feeding it yeah i the yeah. soul feeding that part to the mind with my attention so sure. yeah so then nothing is seen as an adversary nothing is seen as an opponent or as an enemy nothing because soul the love of the soul does not have the opposite you know it's not love or hate like in the physical world outside we say oh love has opposite is hate yeah this love has no opposite 
This love is just love. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah, the love. Even in, mm -hmm. Yeah. Even in uh, in that state, I I can't distinguish uh, love from happy or love from, uh, you know, any, like we say, seven virtues. But I think when we read oh, that, it, yeah, it is no difference. It's just pure love. All, they are all forms of love. You can say peace is also a form of love. Or love is a form of peace. Yes. Either which way. Yeah. They're interconnected. It's not like right. one virtue, then then another virtue, then another. They're all interconnected. That's what Baba sometimes says, no? If you just focus on one, others will emerge. Yeah, and also, uh, like you said, Didi, the mind talks all those things. Uh, maybe it's the shattering of ego that's happening, the, the one that we have identified in the past, and that's happening. But now, since we are with Baba, uh, uh, in the light of truth, all that shattering, all that ego, that self-created stories are not really bothering the true self. So can we say that all that noise of the mind or all that is just a shattering of the ego or the false self? Yeah, it is more, uh, yeah, it is like, you know, even when we use the word shattering, it is more like seeing it with the softness of merging right mm -hmm. it's all just softness of merging with it so that is happening on its own more my attention is towards baba yeah so it's not like we're trying to merge that and shatter that and finish that but that happens on its own that shattering that merging that finishing happens on its own more i am interested engaged and absolute dedication to him then that happens on its own. I'm not yeah. doing anything because the moment I try to do something to finish it, then I'm the doer of it. Then ego kicks in again. Oh, I have to do something to emerge love. I have to do something to emerge peace and emerge joy and emerge this and emerge. It. Because Baba says, no, mind says, because Baba says, do something to emerge. And, that even and even if I feel that I have to, uh, you know, someone has said something and I have to forgive them or I have to bless them, even that is, I think, fake. Because today I was feeling so much of love naturally towards all those souls who made me realize how, I mean, this beautiful drama, uh, this beautiful reality, the truth, naturally, really, without any effort. And that's what Baba says that from that space, it will naturally come. There is no thought. Yeah, it's effortless. That's why we always use the word. If there's any effort, then it's ego. Right? Yeah. If there's any effort, then ego is trying to be loving. Ego is trying to be peaceful. You can't do peace. You can't do love. You can be love. You can be peace. Right? And that's why it can only come from the space of being with Baba in the heart of the Father and the heart of the Father and the heart of the soul when it gets connected, nothing can withstand the force of it. Yeah? And that is why Baba says, the heart of the soul. Not the, not, why Baba says, give me your mind? Because then the heart becomes free to be revealed. Yeah? So in practical terms, the way to see it is that, and as we've mentioned in the past also many times before, it's not like you are thinking they are a blessing. It's not a thought that they are a blessing. Yeah, it comes very naturally. Yeah. It is because they, yeah. in fact, they are my liberators. Yeah. I see them naturally as my liberators. So nothing that is real can be thought over, Right. Nothing that is real can be thought over. Everything that is real can only be known. Known. Yeah. Yeah. And everything that is artificial will be thought over. Think, think, thought think. over. Yeah. And create. Can I can I can I compliment uh, the role Didi here? I really want to share something. 
the knowledge that you know baba is sharing or revealing through you is so so subtle and so difficult to explain that whenever this one tries you know i mean it's it's either taken the wrong way that you are you know i mean this courage that you are doing and how beautifully you're explaining something which is so important so important because i feel that in even in brahman life we are so much attached to this role of being brahman and the way you know the your role and and honestly this is not uh, this is coming from a very uh, uh, natural uh -huh. something that i've tried so much uh, explaining to friends and family and uh, i think the uh, whoever have to and now i just realized that just knowing this is i don't have to now do anything i will explain anything i mean whatever baba is explaining through you is beautiful and it's very difficult to explain that's what i'm saying it's very difficult to explain to the minds who are so attached to the knowledge so thank you and really thank you drama we can just say thank you to baba and each one's role all of your roles are equally important we are not denying the roles but the roles that we all play together yeah they are all very beautiful roles that we play together that's why baba brings us together so each one's role is worth praising yeah and uh, at the same time we know that the highest role that baba plays as a teacher as a guru as a lover as a beloved as a you know that that role makes our roles reflect his beauty his beauty reflects through the roles we all play yeah because yeah we all play and we all play beautiful roles that baba has given each one of us you know so that baba can be reflected through us yeah and and that's why yes we all appreciate our roles baba wants us to appreciate our parts and we appreciate our parts but at the same time we know that we are beyond our parts and he's the one because had it not been for him there would have been a person sitting here <laughs> and the person sitting here cannot give anything to anybody <laughs> but didi uh, i think uh, on saturday baba says you know there's no appreciation no mahima i come i have to give this this is my role and <laughs> so and you know, this is his role this is his role but that's the most important role that he plays yeah most yeah. important role that he plays yeah i know he does not want appreciation but it's you can't not appreciate him because without him nothing yeah. can happen so <laughs> yeah yeah we can appreciate him of course why not and we are singing his praise to know our praise that's all <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. So, and it's really easy when you when as as you said na it's it can be difficult to express in word more and more you're experiencing and knowing I will go into the word knowing more and more you will know and connect with baba and and stay with him in his womb in his heart more and more you will appreciate others roles more and more you'll appreciate your own role everything everything is appreciated by the soul everything you're not denying anything huh in the name of humility yeah because in the name of humility we can deny many things and this is something i have learned recently very recently that i used to just in the name of humility i would reject appreciation also that oh my god what will they think if i accept this appreciation do you see very very subtle yeah yeah and baba is here saying no you have 84 parts and we all play different parts each one's part is appreciated why is that you are not accepting your parts appreciation it's an appreciation it's not a, a mahima of you 
You're not your part. So what is bothering you? <laughs> so there's a very twisted form of humility in it. Very twisted form of humility. Now I have understood, no, when I'm appreciating every soul's part and every soul's role is so important for the drama, then why is this part not important? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's part is important. So when I'm seeing importance of this part, I'm seeing importance of every soul's part, then there's nothing wrong with it. Very subtle. Yeah, very subtle, twisted form of humility that comes in. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm um, twisted humility says, oh, Baba did it. Yeah. Sister, please explain again. You know what Dadi, anybody used to ask Dadi? So who do you love the most? So somebody said, Baba. She said, no. So they said, no, what she, you know what she said? See, listen, very, very interesting. And that opens your eyes. Then somebody said, Murli. Then she said, no. Then Brahmin family. She said, no. You know, what did she say? <laughs> my sir. My pound. Uh, sister, this uh, Janki sister you are talking about, na? Dadi Janki? Dadi Janki, yes. Ha, yes, yes. Ha, main aswayam ko sabse pyar karti hu, right? And my, my role. My part. My yeah. part, right? Me and my part. But me, uh, me is different from my part. Like Baba yeah. says, you're, you are your Abhinashi and your part is also Abhinashi. <laughs> Exactly. So if you don't love your own part, how can you love yourself? If I'm hating my part, I'm disliking my part, I don't appreciate my part, how can I love me? I can't. Well, if someone is given thank you, then something you are saying in this context. Yeah. No? So somebody is appreciating the part because you are also seeing their part is also very important. Yeah. So you don't have to, in the name of humility, try to just brush it away. I was recently, till recently I was doing that. Just recently it clicked. It just clicked. What to give answer? Some, I, I, this one was saying that it's, it's appreciation of each one's part. Each one's part is important for this fabric of the world drama. No one part is more important than the other. So if somebody appreciates your part, it's not like as Rini, I'm taking it, no. But as a soul, I, yes, I appreciate my part, I appreciate your part, I appreciate everyone's part. Just like Amitabh Bachchan in Kuli picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone I appreciate the part of Kuli, I appreciate the part of a sick child, I appreciate the part of a Don. I appreciate the part of a policeman. I appreciate it. You know? And this has become very clear seeing dadis. <laughs> it's not like as a person they're taking it, oh yeah, that's me, I'm so great, I'm so good. No. <laughs> No, it's a part. And every soul's part, without that part, there is a hole in the puzzle of the heart of the soul, of, of the father. Yeah? One brother in New York, he made a heart of God. Yeah? And then he took out one piece. And then he did this exhibition. And then he took out one piece. And then he said, that is my part. That is me and my part in God's heart. <laughs> Without it, God has a hole in his heart. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. God's heart is Sorry. not... Come Sister, I missed 10 minutes of fun. Mm -hmm. Electricity problem, I don't know what all I missed. It's okay. <laughs> 
it's Didi, it showed important. how much self-respect and you know self-love that soul has i mean yeah. wow i mean yeah. i can't even think of you know being so self-obsessed i would you know obsessed with the right thing i mean beautiful yeah it was so beautiful so inspiring for this one mm-hmm. <laughs> really <laughs> and this is being creative baba says be creative this is yeah. being creative yeah creative yeah. i'm acknowledging it yeah. this part baba is not complete without me no See, baba I, without me he's not a whole he and my part he's not complete his heart is not complete yeah yeah my part is to be part is to be taken very very you know underlined and seriously because i have to accept my part yeah. love my part within yeah. i have to from this part only i'm going to be it's full karma thank you I will love my part if I love my me as a soul. Yeah, it's a natural consequence of loving yourself as a soul. You will love your part. So now really? I've decided. If anybody appreciates this part, I will say yes. I love my part too, and I will love your part too. I've decided. Thank God. Like this. Thank God, sister Lumi. <laughs> Today you have evolved a little more. Otherwise, no. I used to see your face, <laughs> facial expressions. I don't know what yeah, happened to her. Very uncomfortable. I serious, deep, and you used to just go somewhere. I said, well, "Hello, where are you?" Now, thank God, you're behaving yeah, quite. You know, thank, you well, thank you, Baba, for that yeah. also, because you will appreciate everyone and with you also. Yeah. It was such a discomfort inside, and I was like, I don't know how to be humble. and there was so much confusion <laughs> and there was so much of pressure oh my god they are watching me how do i do this how do i be <laughs> and sister neha was doing the praising part my electricity went off uh, uh, i was warning sister really will be somewhere in oblivion word some different word only and that's why you are sharing oh, right i was now. listening this time being with baba and seeing baba you appreciate my part every soul appreciates my part i appreciate every soul's part and why not and why not but this appreciation of my part will be irrespective of uh, uh, anything that's happening yes. in the role Now, anybody that appreciating or yeah 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 yes. can come tomorrow and criticize this part i still appreciate your part this is a divine appreciation and you if i tomorrow rainy does something which is not exactly meeting the standards of neha's perception of what spirituality is and you will still appreciate the part if it is divine appreciation yes being that's very important heart. this is being enormous heart yesterday i went somewhere and see how baba checks me how drama checks me the person who is quite close to me and she knows it and first thing she criticized rainy part i don't know from where the hell i was sitting next to her my checking and she said hey, there is one sister rainy i was, i was wondering baba why she is next to me and why she talks only about her to check me uh, and i was just trying to you know be the friend to her rainy sincerely to avoid to to be corrected with the class of the evening so i was just trying to wind up and she i don't know how she read it she says look at there is one sister rainy and she ne- she never never has any internet someone has told her maybe her sister part is there involved so baba said now you check now you love her you know <laughs> now you love everything no yeah. baba said now practical form yeah. so That so yes like, yes I, it's her part it's her part it's okay how how this i happens this, this rainy class rainy figure in my this thing why it it's her way of per- perceiving it mine is different i regard her also but somewhere no she pricked my ego little you are going to she didn't know i was planning you know let's i should run and i should you know relax and start the class i was getting late and she is talking me about that only kiti days when to i checked it yes it pricked me but while being detached i said so okay it had it had, had to happen like this that is why you do really- her part or good her part that mm. is why you need to really appreciate your part yeah and this happens with me all the time and you know been giving warnings and everything <laughs> but i don't really you know i'm absolutely it doesn't affect me at all it doesn't influence me at all and uh, and i am very neutral yeah <laughs> exactly 
Exactly. So you've got to be very neutral because with praise will come criticism. Be very, very clear about it. So you got to appreciate your part, however it's unfolding, as long as you're authentic and truthful about whatever is being shared here so that Baba can use you. Some will like it, some won't like it. How does it matter? How does it matter? So when clutches of holding. Baba is cutting our clutches of holding, claiming it, mindness. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, so I'm at soul, the best place. Yeah, that's as how. As a soul, I appreciate my part. As a soul, if you appreciate my part, I appreciate also your part. Not because you appreciate in the sense, oh, it's all good, 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 good. No. I appreciate the soul who criticizes the part. And that's absolutely fine. Because each one's part is absolutely needed to be the way it is playing out. So it really helped me clear Dadi's comment. Which I've heard many times before. But somehow it just got reflected suddenly from nowhere. Because I was talking to Baba. How do you face this? Because I feel very artificial inside. Saying, oh, no, 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 no. I feel very artificial inside. <laughs> because sister, you were scared somewhere. You'll uh, get caught up in this. That I'll get caught up mm -hmm. in I know, it. I know, I know. How I know. do I be humble then? And I need to Absolutely. be humble and what not. What not is going on here? Because last five months I'd been watching. You were very, very, you know. That's how I kept you separated. I told you it's a reward of our own journey. Drama has treated us like this. So you don't have any much to say. That's why we don't do much. Yeah. But yes, you were very, you know, kind of not uh, claiming it, not liking it. It not was kind of you keeping yourself very, very isolated. There is discomfort. This is also discomfort of ego. Could be. Could be. Yeah. There was too much discomfort. I just didn't know how to handle it. As a soul. I thought it was too much of humbleness. No, it's I actually, a, it is a very subtle form of ego which doesn't know to how to handle humility. Doesn't know what humility really means. I'm not affected by it. My part is important, but I see everyone's part important. I appreciate everyone's part. If they criticize, I appreciate. If they praise, I appreciate. It's all perfect. So now if somebody criticizes, let's say somebody at home also criticizes, thank you. Why? Because I appreciate that part. <laughs> Sister, this I saw in Dadi, uh, with Dadi Guljarma. I could feel she doesn't treat me as soul ever. You know, how she much regard I felt in that Baba's love. She, she could feel I'm as good, as beautiful like Dadi Janki. I'm as good as beautiful like Neelu who was looking after her. She never ever differentiated sister. Around her, everyone else. Yeah. They cause so much of, oh, Dadi's touching me. Why she? But Dadi, you know, she sees me as I'm just yeah. soul Baba child. Yeah. I could see only in Dadi's. Yeah. Yeah. So that is why we the souls do the same. Because that is who we are. Every soul is beautiful. Every soul's part is beautiful. Baba loves me and my part. However it may be. I mean, in my part, so many things have happened in the past. Can't even describe. But so many things have happened. All yeah, mind says, really, oh. sister's part is so good. Uh, so mind says part is so good. You don't know. I've, I've gone through all five vices in full blast. <laughs> brother soul is also like kind of a cow settled so sweet like cow you know guy kuch bolti nahi hai baithi rehti hai aaram se happy hai aur wo beti bhi bachda ban gayi hai bachda means a little calf aur ye to baithi hui hai rini sister is the to sabko bas wo kar diya hai bhaiya drama to uska itna acha hai isko kyun kharab lagega so mind can say anything she is so comfortable and she is awakening other soul also to receive baba's help she is helping us to find baba as baba is so what not? She's earning a big fortune and she's telling so why she, she has to hate her part. She hates her. She's the best. Okay. Iske dono mein pure ghee mein, ghee mein. I can think anything. I say, why she's talking about hello? Why are you talking about your own story? You're not supposed to actually. So mind can say anything, accuse yeah. anything. That is mind speaking, right? Only 
we know each one's part, what has, has gone through, right? And there are certain things we can't even discuss, right? Oh, no, we not. And we, we can't. all have had days and night of our part, right? And this one's part was full-fledged. This is the best I can say. All five vices in full blast I have lived. <laughs> yeah. But I am not ashamed of that part. Does that make sense? Because that was my part. It was equally important. That is appreciation for your part. Whatever it was, however it was, it's all beautiful. And it always will be beautiful. It always is beautiful. Good, bad, ugly, all beautiful. Yeah? <laughs> Today in the morning, I also took one pledge that whatever so come in my life, I will give love to each and every soul. Very beautiful. With, with, uh, with determination. And the class is also on love. I <laughs> like. And this is love acceptance of your part without any reservations. This is true love for the self. When you're truly experiencing Baba's love, there's 100% acceptance of God's love. So beautiful. Yeah. And one sincere effort from Sister Indu, it created the whole class of love. Yeah. Drama, I'm telling you, we inspired drama, all of us together. She yeah. just had a thought because she's in Australia. She got up so early. First one to get up, then us. And she created, Baba created the whole story, the class for, because of her, for us. Yeah, so we don't know because I was not sitting here with God's love. God's love Murli also opened after meditation. Because meditation happened to be on that without thinking. I thought you did meditation based on Murli. No, this is too much to not digest. It. Not oh. at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it was all based on Murli only, sister, by the way. Yeah. It was all heart of Baba. It was just heart of Baba and heart of the soul. And this is what it is. When you love, experience love from Baba, you love yourself and you love your part. And you love every soul and you love every soul's part. Yeah, that is true love. Then there's no discomfort in accepting appreciation for good or bad, whatever it may be. I'm just saying, either it's appreciation or it's depreciation, doesn't matter what it is. But there is no discomfort in it. Yeah. but only gratitude for both. That it's the beauty of your part that, that sees the beauty of my part. And even if it is not seeing the beauty, it is the beauty of your part that can help me see beyond my part. So please repeat last line. One is, it is like if somebody's appreci appreciating your part. It's the beauty of their part that is appreciating my part. And somebody is depreciating your part. It is the beauty of their part that is helping me go beyond my part and really appreciating regardless whether someone likes it or doesn't like it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. That is what it I'm is. I'm seeing Sister Neha so matured. I used to feel she's a girl. I can see all gray. She's become so matured in the looks also. Believe you me, I couldn't believe I said. Hey, look, shoes at the face. look at the soul. <laughs> look at the soul. Her soul has transformed in the looks also. Baba <laughs> said in the movie, you got to show yourself from the face. Uh -huh. And her maturity level is showing all over. <laughs> So, so Sonali is saying, Sister Anshu can be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> yeah. I know she must have said because for the brother soul, I said cow. I, I, you know, I'm from, I don't know, various states I have seen in India, sister. Because as a father or after marriage also in army, what not I've seen various cultures. So that's how, no, there were some says ki tumne to usko itna pyaar se itna mitha bana diya, wo to gaye ban gaya. So something like that, na, she must be trying to say, I don't know why she's saying so. 
ओम शांति सिस्टर ओम शांति या because always she adds that um, comedy touch to the classes no always uh-huh. when uh, you say some point as sister rini says some point and she is like in between she'll uh, simulate something and um, it's like there are some shows in india like uh, people are on the mic and they uh, give that uh, commentary so mm-hmm. it's so instinctively uh, she says that and uh, really had to <laughs> and uh, thank you didi um, rini didi that uh, you have uh, started uh, appreciating uh, that other souls do appreciate yeah. so that's uh, really uh, good this is something very new and i have really learned it in a yeah beautiful way of going through beautiful experiences of discomfort <laughs> yeah so yeah. that was really needed <laughs> it was needed those experiences were needed for me to realize yeah. this yeah yeah so now the student i agree it sounds very odd when someone is really praising you so much i agree but you kind of really dissociated it so in a blunt way it wasn't you know very comfortable for us also it's good mm-hmm. yeah so it is it is disassociating yes see as we say first know you the soul is separate from the mind then you know mind is in you so first you disassociate from your part then you know the part is in you yeah so what is happening is if you are not accepting appreciation as in a from a, from a pure place if you are accepting appreciation from a pure place you will accept depreciation also from a pure place yeah and that becomes very very clear just a pure place means uh, that consciousness that, that whatever praise or uh, depreciation is there parts. that is not my, that is for my part not for me right yeah. not for the soul it my parts regardless somebody likes it or somebody doesn't like it i appreciate okay it. that's the right om shanti didi yes om shanti didi didi um you mean um accepting appreciation without label exactly without being pigeon holed maybe that's mm. this way you know it's like today they are appreciating tomorrow they could depreciate and that's still okay just to what is a pigeon hole you know pigeon hole means okay i put somebody on a pedestal okay so i could can we say... <clears throat> can we also say sister that appreciation means appreciate appreciating all the shades of you know being the dark the sato pradhan the tamo pradhan like we accept you know the gray hairs the black hairs and not you know coloring it so you know similarly accepting all the darkest of my you know even uh, very bluntly so i think that is the true ep- appreciation right and that is why all the different parts different things can come to you from anybody is it's not generally necessarily good things only like sister An- anshu said somebody can say something not so nice about your part mm. am i still loving yeah. your part yeah it's happening with me too much sister with the new understanding so that's okay can i really still love my part am i truthful to my part am i authentic in expression of my part that is most it, it can be possible only when if we think uh, practically that we are the real actor participating from param dham and these are our practically 84 roles only in that stage practically and amitabh bachchan total together for starting we can have example too yeah then hardly matters well part can be because 300 people might be seeing the same play na yeah. some like the horror movie yeah. some like different exactly that might yeah so i the being love me and i love whatever drama this is fixed how can i not like it it's fixed i can't change it i better like it <laughs> hmm that is what it is you know and that is why baba is saying giri that yeah we we win both the sides of the coin exactly we love all the sides of the coins you know and that is what baba is telling us 
So it's okay. If somebody's appreciating, move on. It's okay. Your part is beautiful. Their part is beautiful. Everyone's part is beautiful. You don't have to be artificially humble about it. No, 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 no. I've been doing all that only. Sister, you don't know. We were trained, you know, no, we were trained. I was doing the same and it's okay. Well, Even, that part beautiful. Beautiful. Even that was beautiful. Even that was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Even if I can see my ugliest of the part and still appreciate it. Exactly. Exactly. Whatever it is, I know what the history and the story of this part is. I still love it. Yeah. And it's not like the fears don't come in the mind. A lot less. A lot less. I will say probably 1% fear is still there. But I don't hate that fear. I'm okay with that fear being there. It will go when it has to go. I'm not in rush for it to go or merge or anything. I'm just okay. I know who I am. And I know what Baba is and who Baba is. And then 1% fear, whatever it may be there, it's just not touching me. So when it's time for it to go, it will go. Baba said in Murli once, Sister Thu, uh, Dadi Prakashmani, 95 if you're okay with it, let let five percent yeah. you know. Five percent will always be dissatisfied, and that's okay. Yeah. You don't need, but it's not even five percent and ninety. But you're beyond it all, <laughs> because even appreciating that five percent also, I'm appreciating. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's not about pleasing others; it's about being authentic self. And it's so liberating. Just liberating. And that's why just be who you are and let your part play out the way it's meant to. You just stay with Baba and let Baba use whichever way he wants to use you. Brahma Baba ko nahi chhoda, Bhagwan ko nahi chhoda, to aapko kya chhodenge? <laughs> no, no. What, what, what do you mean after <laughs> telling it? No, no. First, repeat it. What's your intention in telling this? Jab God has not been left from being criticized. Brahma Baba has not been spared from criticism. How can your part be spared from criticism? Our part is to like to be, you know, squeeze this, that, that. And I'm getting a little bold. Uh, I've opened little, you know, so that a sound goes of this class. Otherwise, I used to close from everywhere and quietly. Now, getting little, little bold. Let yeah. it be. Although volume is little low. Because I don't have to make a sanskar of fear or anything, apprehension. I have to be what I am. I have to accept myself, then let everyone, they'll gradually accept. Exactly. And they accept or not, I accept. No, that's more important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I accept everyone's part. I love everyone's part and every soul. That is most important. <laughs> yeah. So then you're really very fearless now. Yeah, it's been two hours. I should close the class. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. <laughs> Om Shanti. This last thing when uh, this discussion was going on, when he says, Sister, you did it. This one also no noticed, right? But it is like, this is her part. She is not doing, the soul is not doing, the part is being played. And now if we say that she was doing it, Soul was the soul is not a doer, right? Mm -hmm. We are just, you know, at this conclusion now that the part has to play it that way. So now the part has changed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The part was to be artificially discomfort with the appreciation, too much discomfort with appreciation. Really. Mm -hmm. you know? mm. याद है इसको जब वो एक क्लास हो रही थी ना आप बोला कि आप बिल्कुल ब्रह्मा बाबा जैसे हो जब आपको इंट्रोड्यूस कराया तो आप यू वर लाइक नो 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 बिकॉज़ दिस वन इसके माइंड में बोला था कि ये दीदी के थ्रू तो बाबा रोज ही बोलते हैं कि वी ओर आर मास्टर ब्रह्मा वाई शी इज सेइंग लाइक दिस वो फिर लगा आपके मन ही बोल रहा है देन दिस इज द पार्ट ओनली देन एक्सेप्टेड दैट पार्ट दैट टाइम टू या सो सो दिस इज वेयर आई हैव गॉन थ्रू दैट जर्नी या I've really gone through that journey and I really appreciate that journey. Mm. Really appreciate it. And, and that is why I've realized that no, there's nothing to push away. Nothing to push away. It is somebody's heartfelt feelings. There's nothing to push away. It's their part's beauty, whatever they are seeing. And yes, if they are seeing whatever they're seeing, it's my part, it's their part. It's just a part. And beautiful parts are playing. 
So nothing to push away. Every soul is Master Brahma. I am Master Brahma. You are Master Brahma. All are Master Brahma. <laughs> so now that has clicked. Now it has clicked. And that's why we say, you know, it just takes one second to click for something. And it just clicks. And I could sense the authenticity in soul behind Sister Neha's appreciation. It was not some kind of a stickiness in it. It was a very genuine appreciation. And I could feel that that soul's own part's appreciation is being reflected in that. And so I could take it and I could see that this is my opportunity to overcome this false humility. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. I'm going to be honest and authentic about it. Sister, practically, I the soul feeling as an Hindu and then taking thank you and saying just formality, thank you, Baba, not from the heart. Practically, this That's all thing is... The Artificial not, thank you, Baba, and then Baba did it, and Baba. No. As a role Hindu, I am thinking, and someone says thanks Hindu, and I am saying no, no, thanks Baba, and from the heart, it likes just like everything in the role coming we are. It is really coming from the heart that Baba and I are one as souls. So if they are thanking the soul, they are thanking Baba. That will be a natural feeling in there. Yes. Pre previously, we uh, I am doing that. <laughs> Yeah, don't doesn't matter. We all have done it and it's a beautiful thing. Nothing wrong with it. That was also a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, the mind is getting more refined. The soul is already karmati. The mind is getting more refined. <laughs> this, is, this is a very, very refined understanding Baba has given that mind is getting refined. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, this is much more clearer. Yeah. Yeah. The mind is getting more and more and more refined, more and more. Mind is becoming conscious of the soul. Becoming the soul, soul is always conscious. Mind is also now becoming conscious of the soul. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the beauty. And one day both merge and we are karmati. One, then... one day mind will merge in the soul when it has no and separate identity. Left the body. And then we leave the body. <laughs> We're just waiting for the mind to merge in us. <laughs> Not even waiting. We're just playing the game until the mind is merging in me. Yeah. <laughs> There's no waiting game. It's just now. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, Baba. And thank you all the souls and thank you all the parts. Thank you, Baba. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you all their thank parts. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Didi. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.